Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style. Today, I'm going to be talking about briefcases, back problems, and how to avoid lugging around a 20-pound handbag that, well, just hurts. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this video, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And I'm going to also link you to our free 47-page ebook. It's an awesome ebook. Highly advise you grab it. And if you want to add to this, you've got something to say in the comments, well, say it right there in the comments. <laughs> okay, so this is the question that came in. Antonio, my daily work bag weighs seven to nine kilos. Okay, kilos for us non-Europeans, basically just double it, pounds. So, close to 20 pounds here. And I walk with it quite a lot. Handheld bags with a single strap are devastating to my spine. One shoulder is already higher than the other. Bags on wheels don't really work with me. The only bag that seems to work is a sturdy backpack. I want to look good, but it's not when it's going to cost me my health. How can I work around this? Okay, so he's probably referring to an article that we wrote about and we'll link to down below about why not to wear a backpack with a suit. And I see this oftentimes on universities, having just graduated in 2007 from the University of Texas. Uh, when I was at graduate school there, I saw tons of guys in suits wearing these big Macombs backpacks. And I looked at this and I'm just like, ah, oh, you know, it's kind of ruining the suit. And it just, well, <laughs> it just, just doesn't look great. Uh, but He's exactly right. You don't want to sacrifice looks for your health. And you see this oftentimes. I mean, just look at, at footwear. If you've, <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell you to look at a, a woman's foot that has been, or woman's, <laughs> women's feet that they've been trying to uh, wear these shoes that don't fit them for 20 or 30 years. But yeah, you can deform your body if you're trying to force a round peg into a square hole. So, let's get back to briefcases because that's what you guys are here. So, this gentleman, it appears that he's got the one briefcase and he's wearing it as a shoulder strap. He's lugging around 20, probably sometimes 30 pounds and he's like, gosh, you know, this is painful. How can I get around this? And so, he thinks, okay, I'll just get a bigger bag and wear as a backpack. And I've got three suggestions for the gentleman on how he can get around this. And the big one is he simply needs to carry less. So, if you're lugging around 20 to 30 pounds all the time, I mean, unless you're going off to combat, I don't know why you need to be carrying around that much. Especially nowadays with smartphones, with, you know, paperwork can be scanned. Um, computers, you can get, you know, talk to your company to get a smaller one or even buck up and get yourself a smaller little laptop, but, you know, even don't carry the computer. Just simply have a smartphone with you. Because at the end of the day, that is going to solve a lot of problems. Simply carry less. And it's something that's going to require a bit of discipline, but we used to do this in the military because if you're going to go on a 20-mile or 30-mile forced march, you're going to lay out everything and you're going to examine every single ounce and you're going to make sure, does this need to be there? Okay, I haven't used this, you know, the last two years and it's been in my bag. And despite the fact that, you know, I think needing a multi-tool in my bag that one time when somebody needs it, I don't know if it's worth carrying around, you know, that multi-tool that weighs, you know, I don't know, eight ounces, nine ounces. So, get rid of it, you know, again, examine everything and say, do I need to be lugging around that copy of Bernhard Rodzell's book, Gentleman? It's a beautiful book, but that thing weighs almost three pounds. You don't need to carry it everywhere. You can pick up style, just go to, use your smartphone and go to Real Men Real Style. There you, there you go. No, so carry less. Number two, look at a smaller bag. And this is related to carrying less, but oftentimes and studies have shown that if you get a big bag, you're going to fill it. It's kind of like plates. So, if you go and you've got a big plate, you're going to put fill it up with food. If you've got a small plate, you're going to fill it up with food. And at the end of the day, you're going to be full either way. So, it's the same with bags. You know, <laughs> you're going to find a way to fill the bag. So, go with a smaller bag. Look for something that is, you know, that you have to force yourself to choose of sometimes things to leave behind. Worst case, you're you know, it's not going to be the end of the world if you leave something at work or if you probably work less at, work, you know, at home with your wife or your significant other, she'll probably enjoy that. After that, look for a quality bag that has wheels. I know you said the wheeled bag didn't work for you, but there's differences between those with wheels that 
they're just loud and they're a pain in the butt. Or ones that are quality made, Samsonite makes some great wheeled bags. Highly advise you check them out. They're going to be a little bit pricier, but it's going to be a lot smoother. Some of the wheels, go for a larger wheel, something that you know can go across grass and you're not going to have an issue with. You can, I mean, I use wheeled bags all the time in airports and anyone that travels, and I find they're incredibly useful. There's this hybrid bag I also wanted to show you. I picked this up, and this is old, so excuse it. Uh, I picked this up over in Hong Kong, and I love this bag because it looks like a soft briefcase, so I can hold it here. It's black. It's made from leather, but the cool part is it does turn into a backpack. So, <laughs> you know, if you have to violate my rule with a backpack, at least have a good-looking backpack and uh, then you can violate it with confidence. But no, this bag actually worked really well. It's not huge as you can tell. So whenever, I usually just carry it like a briefcase, but if I ever, you know, had my hands full with other things, I could wear that thing as a backpack, you know, with three kids. Sometimes I got my son here, my daughter here, got the baby strapped to the front. Hey, I throw that, you know, backpack, looking all professional there. <laughs> okay, hopefully that helped out. If you've got any more questions or anything to add, go to the comments down below and I'll see you in the comments. All right. Take care. This has been Antonio Centeno at Real Men Real Style. Bye-bye.